Since January of 2006, AEDC has assisted in bringing 20 new and 37 expanding projects to Ascension Parish. That's 57 total projects to date. We not only have new corporations coming in, we have expansion with half the corporations that are here. With these projects came over $1.4 billion in recruited capital investments and over $4.8 billion in capital investments through expansion. These projects have reached a grand total of over $6.2 billion announced capital investments, 2,484 new jobs, and over $136 million in new annual payroll. I think the real impact here is the, is the jobs that we've provided for this community. And Cabela's is a company, but every person that you encounter in this location is a member of this community. And to know that Cabela's is able to be a part of that and to change their lives, I think that's, that's why businesses come to communities like Ascension. In our particular case, we got a modernization tax credit that was really around equipment and infrastructure. But there's also that quality job investment. If you add a certain number of quality jobs and increase your payroll, you can get additional tax credits uh, as well. Within those incentives, our industry partners work good with us to ensure that they're gonna hire local folks, they're gonna, they're gonna deal with the local businesses that supply, and, and those stipulations, and it's written in there. So there's a good incentive for both of us. For calendar year 2012, AEDC was recognized by the International Economic Development Council for recording the highest per capita capital investment of any county parish level economic development entity in North America. AEDC's president and CEO, Mike Eads, was recognized as one of the 10 people who made a difference in the South by Southern Business and Development Magazine, along with new Corps chairman Dan D'Amico and former governors Earl Ray Tomlin, Jay Nixon, and Rick Perry. These accomplishments would not have been possible without the hard work and dedication of those with whom AEDC first began, and those who keep it running today, along with the people and community leaders of the parish. AEDC became founded in 2005, but actually the journey began in 2002 or 2003. We felt like there was a better way for our parish to be represented, and uh, that's how it began. In mid-2005, the Articles of Incorporation were filed with the Secretary of State, along with incorporation papers with the IRS, to create AEDC as a 501c6 not-for-profit corporation with Messrs. Diaz, Ramsey, Poirier, and Scanlon as the petitioners. And then once that entity became recognized, then we convinced the other public entities uh, to join in in cooperative endeavor agreements to help support that entity, and that's essentially how it began. And then Hurricane Katrina decided to pay a visit to the residents of Louisiana. None of us were sure what was going to happen with New Orleans. Uh, didn't know whether the economy was going to recover, and like a lot of the other people in New Orleans, they moved into Baton Rouge and somewhere further from the coast of Louisiana. That impacted our business here in a, in a little bit because we were cut off from natural gas supplies to run a lot of manufacturing. The timing, uh, although it was really bad for Louisiana, uh, for this corporation, it actually turned out to be really good because uh, the number two guy at GNO Inc., Tommy Kurtz, uh, was looking for a job. Tommy began work in early January 2006 and hired two additional employees shortly thereafter. One of the first projects AEDC got involved with was assisting the city of Gonzales with the recruitment of Cabela's as its anchor destination retail center. Ascension Economic Development Corporation helped Cabela's first by bringing us here. And if you, th if, if you think back to where the company was at the time, this was our 16th uh, location for the company. Prior to this location, there weren't any Cabela's e even remotely this far south. And now we continue to dot the maps uh, in all parts of the south in the U.S. So really, they, they kind of showed us the way of southern hospitality. 
One of the most important programs that AEDC implements year in and year out is the Ascension Retention and Expansion ARE initiative. ARE is a systematic one-on-one -on -one visitation calling program with executives and owners of existing enterprises across the parish. These interfaces allow AEDC to find out and document community-based issues that are impacting the competitiveness of our corporate citizens and to learn of opportunities for future expansion. Since 2006, AEDC has conducted an estimated 350 of these one-on-one -on -one interviews, many in consort with our allies at LED and BRAC. I've had the opportunity uh, working for this company to travel all over the world to many of our sites, both in Asia and Europe and across the United States. And the cooperation that we receive here uh, the way that the parish uh, works with industry is like no other place that I've seen around the world. If you want to bring business and grow your business, you come to Ascension Parish and AEDC brings them in, but they also do a great job of uh, facilitating and fostering that relationship. We've got to be really smart about uh, how we grow business and we need to continue to grow business, but we need to make sure that uh, that it's done in a planned and prepared way. Ascension Economic Development does a good job looking after Ascension Parish. And I see them going forward into the future. We're world class. This is going to continue to be a great place to live, to raise a family, uh, to send your children to school, to build a career, to retire comfortably. So that's what I think the future holds is more of the great things that make Ascension, Ascension. The hard work that Mike and the team at AEDC has done uh, to get to where they are, this 10-year celebration is, is uh, a momentous uh, achievement for them, but it didn't come without an awful lot of hard work. Congratulations AEDC, proud of you, and look forward to seeing you continue to really do good things in the future.